Bocca Nathan played for the All Blacks. Any stories about Bocca Nathan? Bocca Nathan was my great hero when I went to Ravenhill in, to watch, I think it was the 1964 All Blacks and the 1966 All Blacks. And Walker was a, a fantastic Maori and, and open side wing forward. And I just revered him. I ran about trying to run like him, trying to play like him. And then 10 years later I was playing for Ireland in, 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 in New Zealand. And the day before we played the All Blacks in Wellington, we were, three of us were invited to the Barbarians Club in Wellington. And there they were, the 1966 New Zealand pack. And all of them were there, the Colin Meads and Wilson Winery, Ken Gray, Tremaine and Walker. And I said, Walker, you know, you were my hero in life. And he said, yes, he said, because I, I am here because of this Irish team we were touring. I had so much kindness when I went to Ireland because I broke my jaw twice. And on a Saturday night, I was wired up. The Irish would unwire my jaw and let me drink Guinness all weekend, eat steak, and then it would wire me up on the Monday morning. And he said, because of that, I've been sending cases of Guinness to your rooms everywhere you go. And we really hated that Guinness. Now, I didn't mention that, but we hated the Guinness because it wasn't like the Guinness we have in Ireland. It was sweet. It was horrible. And we used to give that Guinness away to maids and receptionists just to get rid of it. So what could I say to Walker? I said, Walker, you know, I looked at the size of his hands and I didn't want an argument with Walker Nathan. I said, Walker, you know, that's very kind of you. We are loving it. We're lapping it up. And he said, that's grand. I'm pleased with you because I received so much kindness when I went to Ireland. And he left it anonymously? He did. There wasn't a word about it. It just it appeared in our bedrooms and he never even said this it, isn't Walker Nathan. Isn't that class? <laughs> <laughs>